everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Down of Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you guys, I've seen a fantastic, fantastic day on the most amazing Friday. As you guys can see, we're kind of having one because we have a revenge raid lined up. We've lost the skull. We got all this stuff, but uh, boom, this is, this is kind of uh, what was lost in the revenge raid. So they kind of decided to break it through here and decided to break it into those three things. So we got to go to get ourselves a ton of sweet, sweet revenge a little bit later on, along with actually make the necessary repairs to the stuff but first there are other matters at hand that i would like to get to focusing on number one let's restock this but then number two i actually want to head on over and meet the ravager over at the farm because in the full version of 1.9 a point three actually might have been thing in alpha as well maybe i just wasn't noticing it that much but supposedly what has actually been happening is that the ravager now does do a lot of damage a lot of durability damage to ourselves and i want to actually go ahead and fight this guy with a little bit more melee apparently the katana is actually really good because it does barely keep you out of range from what i've been hearing so just for the time being i want to put the building supplies away but those will be getting put to use no worries but then those two over there will be for the bait so without further ado we have a couple of pistols we got to mod up real quick so with those weapons modified up let us head on over to the farm and try and go face to face with this ravager and see what is going on the farm actually already respawned so now when we do enter it should actually be going on its longer respawn timer and yup as you guys can see there is the time that it is now going to be taking in between farm runs in the full version of 1.9.3 which does make it is a little bit more balanced than every three hours not gonna lie every three hours was op but a lot of that was for testing purposes but that is in the past now the bigger thing in the future well it's right here and right now actually let us see what is in here and then let us go ahead and start clearing out some of the enemies okay a little bit of jerky honestly i could go with the food but let us actually start whipping out a couple of these katanas i want to start slicing these boys up come at me rotten yoko you ain't got nothing on me son nothing but a little bit of death for you and then a whole ton of death for your brother redo over here but then we got to make our way to the ravager and see and hopefully we can actually find the raiders first because i do not want to uh, experiment with his apparent uh armor destruction ability which i guess makes sense that's where the ravager gets his risk that's where he gets his dangerous from he's not actually too dangerous when it comes to battling him but if you treat the boss fight improperly it can actually do a lot of a lot of damage to some of your armor from what i've been hearing so let us go ahead we probably got to pee a little bit so we should probably do that let's just get let's just get that vitamin p out the way really quickly but then this savage giant over here is guarding the gateway he needs to go ahead and perish very quickly get over here a lot that you got to go and then we got to start clearing out that pathway until the ravager which i mean if we're actually actively going for the ravager should not be too difficult and i know I sh i'm trying to save the pistols for the most part for uh whatchamacallit for the uh savage giants but for the time being honestly i just want to get to this ravager asap and start destroying that man in as big of a way as possible so savage giant unfortunately you stand between me and my quest and regardless of how much damage you try to do to me you ain't gonna be able to stop me baby cakes all right because the time is near well actually i do want to try and find that uh did that guy just aggro us was that is that a bull that just aggroed us? How did that bull aggro us? Okay, dude, we bet. Dang, man. Bulls are, they are not messing around when it comes to aggros, dude. Well, shotgun raid to you, bull. Can I get a critical real quick? There we go. That's what I was hoping for. And then they finished him off with the pistol. But yeah, you gotta be careful, man. If those bulls aggro you, they can definitely be a nuisance. But what I'm looking for very quickly, there's the Ravager. I am looking for him. But first things first, I want... God dang it! He aggroed me too! Dude, these bulls have started aggroing from further away. They are a little bit risky. What you guys should be looking out for when it comes to these bulls is honestly just uh what's my call okay i'm not gonna use the shotgun to finish you off there i'm actually gonna finish it with the pistol don't want to put that shotgun to use for you because that shotgun is way more damage but anyways uh from what i've been seeing they appear to be the only enemy that actually has their reticle moving although i believe that the raiders might be able to move as well is that that's not a bull that's a yokel over there see so right around this circle that circle is right around where it appears that the infected bull will start aggroing us and here it looks like those those guys just kind of wailing on each other i'm looking for the raider pen because so far it appeared that each uh farm instance that we did go to back during the alpha did have at least one raider uh pen or whatnot like one fenced in raider area that we could handle and so far it actually might not be any of these so we might just need to show off that ravager i'll just go ahead and take off a little bit of my armor i'll 1v1 them with uh, honestly no i'm a man of pantalones let's leave but let's leave the pantalones apart of me and then let's 
let's head on over and try to deal with this lad as soon as he starts to run my way. Hello, Ravager, how do you do? But supposedly the katana is barely out of his distance, making the katana a perfect murder weapon when it comes to dealing with the Ravager. Because look at this, all right? He's not going to start running after us, but if you guys want to see if we go far enough away, that is when the run begins, and that is when the game of Cat and Mouse begins, where he tries to just kind of do that whole spitting tactic on us, and he's going to continue to try spitting, and it is a dangerous game. I know it only seems like it does a little bit of damage, but look at the durability our pants are at. Look at after... Oh my god, that was actually a lot of damage. Let's back it up a little bit, and now he goes back to walking after one successful hit. Look at the damage! Damage our pantalones suffered! Absolutely unacceptable. I am well aware of this. So just a little bit of a heads up, a little bit of a warning to you guys when it comes to dealing with the Ravager. High range melee weapons are perfect. Even the Katana looks like it does just enough range to be able to hit him before he starts his base attack. And I do believe it is mainly his acid attack that's going to uh, destroy our stuff. His melee attack... Uh, it's, it's definitely, no, his melee attack does look pretty normal, but that acid attack is very, very noticeable in the amount of damage it does to your armor. So if you are coming here, either just be ready to use the Raider's stolen armor when it comes to taking out the Ravager. Honestly, I'm gonna just go and slice and dice on this guy. Oh no! He spat! I didn't want that. I didn't want that. That's the thing, dude. Sometimes looks like he can whip out the surprise spit when you ain't expected it. So he's a very dangerous enemy to deal with, but like I'm saying, if you use the Katana, you can stay just out of his range. You can stay unslowed because of spit attack does also slow you down and hopefully you can make sure that this lad dies the death that he deserves i don't know what type that is exactly but a death he does deserve because how dare you harm my armor my pantalon is the armor of my sniper gang i value so dearly i will not allow it ravager and i am getting revenge for your actions against them so sorry bub you only got 400 health left until your de untimely demise untimely for you very timely for me demise has come but yeah like i'm saying i mean i'm sure we can replicate the same results with the sledgehammer as well so just look for high ve high range weapons when it comes to dealing with this guy and i'm just gonna keep on using the katana till it breaks and try not to run away from him too much don't give him a reason to start running after you unless you're confident you can win the game of quote unquote a cat and mouse aka once we get far enough the game of cat and mouse is of course uh, you gotta dodge that thing run around make sure he doesn't hit you and then finish him off but the katana is proving a very worthy weapon his loot is still proven very unworthy but at the very least uh we got him dead and we were able to show off that uh his spit is not to be trifled with so really when it comes to dealing with the ravager if you're wearing good armor be very prepared to do everything in your power to not get hit by his acid of course if you do get the raiders in one of these pens you can pick up their stuff and use them if you want to be a little bit lower risk but at the end of the day it appears that the safest way i mean you could always use a gun as well but honestly you guys were seeing just fine the katana most of one katana looked like it was doing like the job we were able to kill him pretty much i mean the katana was the main weapon we used we used a little bit of the sledgehammer as well but i mean he just used up most of the katana so maybe if he used only it it would have used up the entirety of it but regardless that is some information on the ravage and hopefully some helpful ways to help you guys and gals out when it comes to dealing with them and actually i'd love to hear from you all in that comment section down below how you personally have been dealing with the ravager and maybe your guys's uh favorite way of doing so maybe like using pistols and all that jazz maybe you have an even more efficient way anything like that is love to hear anything y'all gotta say about that ravager that counts section down below since it does kind of fit today's theme and our ballot country third of the way it's the week it's down at two such place to our gift card give all you gotta do is watch make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that'll show you win on today's video y'all go ahead and turn on every single last video one set of rules around pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment for a random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new week and give away that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the latest last day on earth episodes for y'all to get them entries into latest of last day on earth game play like with the 1.9.3 update you know we are all over that as soon as possible not to mention all the latest information as well amongst other dope survival games in addition to that making it i'm i'm not trying to tell y'all what to invest in but it sounds like a subscription to starts that daily videos is a quality investment my guys <laughs> i kid i kid if it's a quality investment in your eyes then i hope you do decide to do it but that is it for now we have another one of these blue chests that we gotta bring to the end of the farm because while the ravager was kind of the main reason i wanted to come into the farm today uh it is not the only reason we're coming at the end of the day although ooh, we did forget the secret ri ah i gotta trade myself to bring that hatchet dude my mind still only associates 
hatchets with raids i need to make bigger mental notes in my brain dude because like my mind just does not for some reason it's just like it cannot comprehend that we need to bring an axe to here you know it's just so used to raids so honestly probably after the raid we'll make a pit stop to go and visit the house at the end of the farm but in the meantime let's deal with all the yokels that we can bring some death and destruction to them uh make sure that we are looting all of these pens as well trying to stay away from the hay bales to make sure that those things don't uh well spawn a ton of zombies because apparently zombies love hiding in hay bales it's the new hide and seek meta lads but all right we got to go and aggro a couple of yokels and whatnot our way we can deal with them in this pen this is actually really nice because once you start clearing out pens pens actually end up making uh perfect arenas for you to hold future battles and shotgun raid to you shotgun raid to you yokel and oh no 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 i i am finishing you off with a shotgun i'm gonna finish you off with fisticuffs float like a butterfly sting like a star because i don't sting like a bee and I don't know if stars sting, but, uh, maybe? I don't know. What I know for show, no maybe about it, is that we gotta get these pistols involved and start dealing with the giants of savagery because, I mean, like, like once when it comes down to one, we definitely can. When it comes to savage giants, you can melee weapon them. If it's two, eh, still kind of stretching it. If it's one, definitely possible, but you just gotta make sure that you have the medical supplies for it. If you don't got medical supplies, it's definitely safer to try and use some ranged weaponry. Even the bow is kind of like nice for them since you can easily outrun them. So you do have the ability to shoot the bow at them and whatnot, but I engage in a samurai battle and I'm definitely making sure to med kit up so I don't die from the 34 damage this light is inflicting. And oh, gotcha before you could hurt me again, leaving me off at a perfect 100%. But yeah, uh, definitely if you do decide to melee attack them, just have uh, what you might call medical supplies ready and definitely do everything in your power to uh, not have more than one of them. Definitely not more than two of them on you at once but all right on to the next pens that's two cleared out the two to go and still no hay bales to mildly inconvenience us and no raiders dude i was honestly kind of banking on the raiders happening because uh well they do kind of have this thing known as melee weapons i was kind of hoping to steal and utilize during this that does not appear like it's going to be the case but we do have one savage giant running after us it's oh no my pants all right we definitely got to be careful with these savage giants man they're getting to be risky and slice to you oh oh no 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 where did you people come from shotgun ray okay okay at least shotgun rays dude no i didn't mean to hit him at the same time at least shotgun rays doing a good amount of damage to these dudes dude I, the critical chance man it is going off Do you see how many criticals we were getting oh my god another savage giant where are your people coming from dear mama and a slice to you dude i love that we just flat out slice their face off ain't a thing more satisfying than that except maybe getting the chopper gas tank and floppy disk you know there's probably more satisfying things but you know what i mean and this is what i was talking about freaking crawlers man this is why you gotta stay away from the hay bales the hay bales are a lie it's just like the cake was so many years ago back in portal if any of you guys understand why the cake was a lie let me just say i think we just bonded on a spiritual level portal 2 man i mean i know it came from portal 1 but Portal 2, ooh, I loved that game when it came out. That was actually a huge game in my childhood. And then we got some clue to bring on home. A little bit of booze too. Uh, I'll leave that for now. Maybe we'll get desperate for water because I never bring water because I always, you know, I just let's let just drink our booze, spread our vitamin P and do our thing. But yeah, I don't know. I, I tend to mainly drink water from my glorified water fountain at home. I just don't like that it takes up an extra slot and I always feel guilty bringing water because it's like, honestly, when it comes down to it, I'm going to be ready to ditch it. But just some part about me, man, it hurts me ditching items, even though I know that I do it a good amount at times, man. It's because I got to. It's because the situation arises. And I was, I don't know, man. I hope that the situation doesn't have to arise like that. But, all right. Still, with our lack of pants comes great danger. So, let's eat up some baked beans, get some hydration and some food and some health as a plus side effect. And we got to deal with the savagery of this giant. So, I'm going to use that shotgun to wrap him up before we then whip out the katana get over here savage giant come on can i get a critical off on you no criticals today that's okay dear mama look at the angry horde of them running over at us uh oh did i end up looting the stuff over in that box yet i know i definitely mm, i don't know i'm just getting a little bit confused oh my god there's so many of them running at us hold on i'm just gonna double check just want to make sure i hate finding out that i left stuff behind because the goldfish memory kicked in and oh my god there's so many of them can we kill these guys a little bit faster these savage giants are catching up at an alarming rate Oh my god, fast biters. Why are you people hiding in hay bales? Why don't you hide behind uh, uh, potted plants? 
Like normal people. Sheesh. Okay, let's get that heal off. Let's get a couple more slices. And let's get a whole ton of shotgun range because our armor is taking a beating. And we don't exactly have more armor to make up for it. Rip to all of you. I just turned them into like a bag of body parts without the bag. You know why? We don't want that bag accidentally getting littered down the line, you know? So it's uh, it's it's an investment down the line. And let me just make sure I don't accidentally run by any hay bills. But yeah, I 100% did collect whatever was in this one right over here. Here, and I think I think it was maybe the one up north that I potentially am not sure if I broke into I Yeah, that should be it. But uh, we just cleared out that horde as well So without further ado, I believe was Scott free besides making our way to the house And then of course the final showdown that the farm contains for us. What you got bag? It's it's an our it's an all right bag. It's got some fuel. It's got some fur. It's got some whiskey in case we ever get thirsty i don't even know if that whiskey it, it's it has to like heal up our thirst a little bit right i'm just not entirely sure because i know booze gives us like 20 i honestly feel like for some reason this thing only gives us five. Oh no it actually gave us 30 yo shouts out to you strong booze or whatever the name of that thing is loki i'm a fan of that i'm a fan of that and i this is the one that i didn't break into i knew i knew i forgot to break into one this is the one and it's looking like we got some all right stuff a little bit of oak we can take home still a whole ton of fuel now we're gonna be capitalizing on that little bit of gas as well and some carrots we can shout down through the rest of today so now with the ravager done the four pens of the farm taken out we must waddle our way over to uh to to to, to the house thing and one relatively short waddle later yo are you kidding me did that bull just notice us oh you know why oh no i think that bull did just notice us oh no no no! it was just on patrol okay i saw it. there was a red dot right over there that started running my or that started like walking away that's probably just the bull's path okay i was about to say dang that's even further than i thought it was all right but he did not anger want us that's the good news although i'm very scared of it happening so i'm trying to keep my distance from that guy i wonder if the fact that i smell bad might be harming it a little bit but i, I don't know dude the infected bull never really cared about my smell these guys look like they do so let's go ahead and cut ton of you rotten yokel we'll keep my distance away from that savage giant hope we don't get any infected bulls on us and yeah star why don't you shower i'm sorry i love the musk of it you know <laughs> no 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 dude it's iconic name a more iconic duo oh wait besides the katana and slicing off the heads of mine enemies but seriously they were more iconic duo papa star and smelling awful i don't think there is one did he did he aggro onto us now dude every time i see that thing moving around man it it where is that thing going to oh my god that thing's on that thing patrols outside of the pen Oh my goodness gracious, that bull is on something. And here's the thing, by the time it ends up actually in our like line of sight, like by the time we could theoretically see it on the screen, he usually aggros us by that time. That's what I've been noticing during this farm run. So definitely a little bit spooked and don't even want to go and confirm that that's the bull. But I got a lot of suspicions leading to that being the bull and a med kit to make up for some of the ones that we had to utilize throughout today. So welcome to my inventory. All that we got now is a couple more enemies that push snaps. I could, nope, no sneaky dinky today. I wonder if it is the smell. Cause here's the thing. Like I know that like smell is supposed to make you more detectable, but honestly in the past, smelling bad has been very inconsistent in like who it allows you to sneak up on. Like originally it was, it was like, it, it had a very, very noticeable effect but I, at some point like i was still able to sneak up on people smelling bad so i just like never you know cared about it too much but i don't know it looks like these guys are actually carrying a good amount so i suppose i i will take a shower for next time unless maybe i'm just going crazy and these yokels man they they smell me regardless of how strong my how powerful my musk is that's just such a funny word dude musk you know but let's get this delivered to the saw and let's prepare for what is about to come which honestly i hope that we have enough of because how much gun we got that's the rest of our shotgun that's the rest of our pistols this rest of our meds our armor oh my god our armor is it that uh I, I i i really was banking on the raiders potentially being here uh, the raiders did not want any part of me okay that's not good to see uh, depending on if this barn opens then we might be in for a little bit of the trouble there laddies so let's just uh let's toss that down really quickly and I mean, having this armor doesn't even matter at this point, I feel like. So if any enemies, I mean, if that barn door opens, 
I'm gonna be very spooked because three savage giants are gonna run out of that. I can definitely deal with these little yokels a little bit at a time. What is there gonna be like two of them? Maybe three of them running up on us, but I, I wanna save the ranged weapons for when the savage giants decides to start coming in. Oh my god, hold on. I missed the savage giant! I suppose that I did. Sav oh, oh, now he's coming to me. He came to this thing first. Okay, um, 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 can I just shock and rain you till you die, Savage Giant? I really hope that the barn doesn't open, by the way, because I- Oh my god! I shot his legs out from right under him. Look at his face over there. Oh, that's such a sad-looking face. Uh, yeah, why do we get this backup gun here? This is not the way that I planned things to go out, but apparently the barn didn't decide to open, so Loki, thank you, barn! I'm actually shocked that the barn decided to do that, and let's go! That's what I'd like to see. We got a magazine for something we definitely still need some perks from. We got clothes! I kind of wish I got these earlier, but can't complain. Clothes are clothes. I can get jiggy with it. Uh, we also got that glue we got to put into our inventory. Anything else here? Dude, that site is looking marvelous. Um, I did want to... Not that. I want to go to my inventory here, and we do need a hat. That thing's about to break. Okay, so all our inventory room's good. Goodbye to the cans. Goodbye to the rope. Goodbye to these. Uh, I'll keep those for now, but I'll start picking up a couple of things here or there. Uh, oh, there's the face mask. I don't know why that thing was just evading my eyes, dude. My eyes were not about it, apparently. And a little bit of aluminum wire, utilizing some of the band-aids. And without further ado, a bada bing. Let's swap out that katana. It's about to break. A bada boom. That is a farm run that unfortunately did not net us the barn and its contents. But I can still get quite jiggy with what we got out of it. I mean, we did get like a full durability M4, which I can... Or was it M16? I always forget, dude. M16. I gotta embed that in my head. It's because the M4 is the gun that's coming to the game at some point. The M16 is the one currently in it's the m man it's the same letter and a number after it just mixes me up you know but uh yeah getting that thing not to mention another scythe for the collection our scythe luck has been super super dope lately and if it continues being this dope we definitely will be uh utilizing scythes a little bit more than just the trophy ah dude i kind of want to save the scythes for when they're like literally the perfect weapon for some random scenario or something but for now we have the perfect scenario of bringing this loot back home and reorganizing things for a couple of reasons. Number one, reorganize our inventory to be ready to repair. Number two, reorganize the base to repair the walls. It's not really re reorganizing the base, but more reorganizing the broken walls with less so broken walls. More like not broken walls, to be specific. And then finally, of course, reorganizing uh, Huffington's base over here in our inventory. You know, doing a little bit of organization there where we uh, take the best stuff from Huffington and put it into our inventory with the help of magic, such as uh, iron hatchets and stuff. Speaking of which we got to definitely make sure that we do leave a little bit of iron hatchet left over so we can make a pit stop over at the farm and see what the secret compartment contained for us but now comes the time for inventory management and then some repairs and with ourselves completely ready to raid i know we only have this thing over here but we also changed up the shotgun to be in its godly silenced version where it will one hit some of the fast biters and it does like an even 80 damage which is actually really useful during raids but we got the rest of the stuff over there we're only gonna be bringing three of the iron hatchets along for the ride but we're gonna craft up a ton of them anyway but first things first we gotta make some of these much needed repairs because the raiders dude at a certain point like i'm always scared because there's always that random day where they decide to have a field day dude the raiders have gone so freaking ham in the past in terms of like the damage that they've been able and capable of doing that i definitely want to patch up any and all holes as soon as they do arise which they happen to have arised right there i do like patching up walls a little bit more than doors since they happen to be cheaper but sometimes that is what is needed uh, okay just want to make sure we put a door there and i wasn't just kind of on autopilot and accidentally put on a wall because that is kind of like one of my favorite doorways into the place these doorways are pretty nice too but that's besides the point the point is those things were broken into they're looking a bit more safe we'll definitely utilize some wood to create a more secure perimeter around it because these things happen to have gotten broken into we got this stone wall being broken that stone wall being broken and i think a third stone wall right there dude how many stone walls are these people breaking into like, oh, mama, I know some of these are, like, left over from before, but, like, you think they'd kind of, like, you know, decide to break into some other stuff, but they really love breaking into this wall, man. Something about it just has got them going, you know? <laughs> but let's go ahead and replace those holes with walls, and then let's reinforce those walls multiple times to make them as powerful. Dang it! We're out of planks. We gotta go and find some of those. All right, we can also go ahead and start making some repairs to this, and also, I do believe one of these chests should have within it some wooden planks, unless I'm mistaken 
mistaken. I mean, we're finding other valuables like stone over here, which I could definitely get behind. But the big ticket item that I'm looking for, and hopefully the game will be able to provide me specifically in this chest, is some of the planks we've been stockpiling from raids so we can make some proper repairs and hopefully not get raided. And we got some more hatchets as well over there. So uh, we did, uh, no, hold on. We got to fix that one up all the way. We do have these two over, or do we have, we do have that one over there that's broken, but nothing ever happens with it. They've never gone further than it. So I'm not too worried about that one. And I mean, technically speaking, we do still have this tiny little hole over there. So let's just go ahead and repair that because they love breaking through this one specifically. So I, I, I'm going to make it stone. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it safe here. And we don't have the oak. Oh, dear God, starvation. Hold on, hold on. Oh my God, I put the carrots away. Ah, why am I starving now? Where's my food? No matter where the food is, the game. Oh, there's, there's some carrots right there. Never mind. Of course, as soon as I start the heated monologue, the game decides to give me what I wanted all along. Me, me, me. Well, let's go ahead and put that stuff away. The AK is coming along for this raid of a ride. And let's go and acquire the rest of our raiding goodies. Oh, 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 and of course, any extra wood that we have after we go ahead and craft up some hatchets is definitely going towards the level one walls to hopefully uh, help uh, keep the side protected that apparently always gets broken into, dude. Like, for real, I don't know what it is. These chests are like always, whenever something good gets taken, I just like, I know it's going to be from these three chests. They are always the first line of defense that gets broken into. It doesn't help that they are the most on the outside but we're we're running out of chest room cut cut a man a little bit of slack and we needed plenty of room over here for the trophy room too so chill and the trophy room will get much better than that do not worry but all right okie dokie artichoke let's go ahead and craft up a couple of these puppies how many exactly i think crafting up this many or so it should be fine that should bring us almost about a full row of it but i'm pretty cool with that and then we can just utilize the rest of our wood to finish making some of these repairs because i i like you know being able to protect my stuff properly it's, it's a good field it's a good field when it's not constantly getting broken into you know so let's definitely separate those like that and i'm just gonna honestly I, I do think that's a pretty good idea right there just make a ton of doorways they have to break into although that does mean we have to run through more doorways now too and make this as protected as can be there we go a perfect amount so i know we do probably still want to put stuff there but for now it's all right because we honeycombed over where it is most importante if you ask me so with these 19 rocks put away and without further ado let us go ahead and get y'all the bunker code for today and then we will head out on this raid no worries i also think the raiders might potentially have some quests for us so i kind of want to call them really quickly it'll make a pit stop but today's code is going to be 29858 if that is out day by the time you're used to go ahead and check the comment section down below for a fan freaking test post from this fan fantastic community known as a stipe cake because without fail every comment section i check we got someone providing as up to date of a code as possible to help out everyone in their time of numerical and digit need and it looks like we got these quests so nothing we're going to be able to knock out in the middle of our next raid but for the most part i don't think there's many like many of those raider quests that they give you you can even knock out during like a revenge raid because i mean i've killed toxic abominations during revenge raids before for the toxic abomination quest and they, they seriously do not care at all. So that's all fine and dandy. But, uh, ooh la la, we got that thing too. I am thinking about heading over there. And also we got a couple of weapons that are all about to break, but they are fully silenced. And we got the AK to pretty much be the glorified cleanup crew and the SWAT shoes to make sure that we are running properly and fast for, especially once we get far enough in and the big one decides to start showing up, we want to make sure to outrun him as soon as possible. Yeah, for that fan freaking science, the community it's down below for that code that I was talking about. And if you don't catch it down there, then you can be the fan because I person that does help out everyone in the snipe gang who might be in need of it by posting it down there and being a helpful lad and or a lassie. But no more helpfulness now that is only raidfulness as we hopefully break into. Ah, uh, I'm seeing stone, but at the same time, what in tarnation type of bases? Ow, okay, that's just the. This is the most random base configure. Oh, he, he's got a turret over there. Hello, turret. Looks like. Oh, no, 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 don't need to shoot me, turret. Uh, okay, well, I was not expecting turrets to be in this equation, but this appears to be quite the raid. That is something I can get behind. Oh, mama! What a pattern on the chopper you have here. Absolutely nothing in the chopper, but oh me, oh my, what a pattern, my guy. Uh, now when it comes to his actual base, wh where does his actual base start? It looks like he's got dead bodies chilling over there. It looks like he's got a zombie over there. I'm kind of tempted to break into here. This is a very interesting looking base so far. I feel like there's going to be a lot of chests with it, but that also means there's a lot of potential for those chests to be broken into, but it is definitely looking like it is big. So I guess the part that where we started at just kind of looked a little bit weird, but 
It looks like it's a normal Fizz and looks like it. Yeah, right here. You gotta admit, spawning right here makes this look like it's gonna be a weird base, but pretty much every other side of it is pretty normal. It's just a huge base that goes out to the edges and just random spikes and stuff here. How do we approach this? Uh, I do see, is that a chest in there? I'm not even seeing anything in there. Uh, we could use a level one hatchet. I don't know if I want to waste one here. We could, I'm seeing a lot of things over there, but also spikes protecting it. Any way we could get over there without having to break spikes? Honestly, this dude looked like he did a pretty good job engineering his base. Oh, ow, okay, this is definitely a corner that I cannot get out of, unfortunately. Well, I can't get out of it. I'm not saying that, but I can't finesse past it. I can kind of finesse. Oh, mama, where's the turret at? Where's the turret at? Where's the turret at? Okay, well, apparently the turret is somewhere where... Ow, ow, okay. It's a doozy of a base. Apparently that turret's somewhere. It's making noise. Whenever I get close enough to break into stuff, the turret starts doing his thing. This is not what I was expecting out of the raid, so I didn't come prepared for... T I'm not used to meeting these turrets, man, but the game decided to throw a wrench at me, so... All right, things are going to get interesting in today's raid, it looks like. Can I at least attack the turret before it can attack me with the proper gun? Okay, at the very least, we can. And oh, Nella, dude, the AK is melting this thing, and I am making a peep. Dude, look at that. Barely going through this. Okay, I thought this was going to be like the bunker turrets where they take less damage. Nah, dude, this turret is straight up getting melted by the magic of the Kalashnikov. Now, we do have some chests over here we could break into. The question is, is it worth breaking into? Why don't we break into one and find out and then see if maybe it's a good idea for us to move on and or move in? What you got for me? Uh, trash. Absolute hot trash. That is not what I was hoping for. I think there's a noise trap right there. Why are all these trees here, man? These trees gotta go. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a noise trap right there. I don't want to trigger that, but that is the only way we can get past without making noise. Dude, this is such a weirdly engineered base. This guy's got some interesting stuff going on, Huffington. I don't really know if I'm interested in that. No way. He's got a couple more things over there. Refining furnace. I think we just got to try breaking in. But from where? He does have more chests over there on the other side of the noise thing, but I don't think that's what we're looking for. I think what we're looking for is... Mm, we got that turret we got to worry about over here, though. Unless we manage to break into, like, the perfect spot and maybe... I don't know. Like, ah, that's what I hate, dude, because the turrets, even if, like, we're on the other side of a wall, the turret starts shooting at us, which really screws us over. And that's not good. So, like, where's the turret? Is it more up north or... Where, where... Okay, so it's over that way. So good to know. That is the way that the turret is. I guess we could super quick try to break into this and then maybe we could snipe the turret from here. I mean, it's going to make a little bit of noise and maybe do a little bit of damage, but I think that that's going to be our best bet moving forward. So let's heal up all the way and let's begin the breaking and entering process. At least it doesn't make a whole ton of noise. It's making a good amount, though. Please finish breaking through this wall already. There we go. There we go. Are you kidding me right now, dude? That's all that we got? Oh, my God. Ah. Uh, well, I know what we got to break into next, but it's going to make a good amount of noise again. This turret's got to be protecting some good stuff, man. Remember when I said I wanted, most importantly, honestly, worst case, this is looking like a good raid. I I don't I don't need the iron hatchet. I'll go back. We got like two entire days to go back for the farm. We'll go back and get that at some point. All hands on deck for the raid because it looks like an evil mastermind decided to raid us last. Um, okay, I think there's a doorway here. Let's break into this doorway and let's hope for the best. I know I'm about to get shot so hard as soon as this breaks, so... Ah! Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna... Can I shoot the turret from... Oh, I can! Bless up, baby! I can hit the turret from here. Not bless up. The, these guys are coming. Okay, I gotta start mowing these guys down really quick. Okay, shotgun raid to you guys. Can I actually go with a little, little bit of pistol drizzle? I did not plan for this! No, I gotta keep the AK. AK's gotta be for dealing with the turrets! There are still a potential after this one. Two turrets, they could be awaiting us, but dude... It's a good sign, because if there's turrets, that means that he can afford to build turrets, which means maybe he can afford more than that. And we got to make our way inwards. I don't know how much C4 I want to use. I don't know where I want to use the C4. Okay, can we... Let's back it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. And we kill him from here. Already at 30 noise. Haven't used a single C4. Definitely not going as ideal as I would have liked, but I uh, got to roll with the punches, man, and I'm doing my best to roll right now. All right, with this turret. Dunzo! We at least do have another chest here. I don't think that chest is worth it, dude. This guy, he does not store good stuff by his turrets, but it looks like to get any further into his base, C4 will be needed. I would say maybe break into that. Are you kidding me? Can I not? Yo, I can't get past... Are you kidding me? I can't get past the turrets, so I can't even... No, I can't get into that. 
All right, that's a tad bit annoying. You know why? I think I know it's going to be on the other side of this. By the looks of it, he likes to have a couple layers of protection on the outside of his base. I'm guessing this is just going to be like a little bit of honeycomb. There's not going to be anything on the other side of this. But to be completely honest, I think we have to break into this. And to be completely honest, I did not bring enough iron hatchets for this because I... Dude, we haven't got... Okay, well, this is where his thing is. So that's good to know. Uh, Where to break into? Honestly, it looks like... Oh my God, I almost just died. That could have been bad. Um... Well, I, I'm guessing he's got spikes on the other side of this. And we're breaking into the wall, at least. Okay, so that's good. It's a level one wall. Also good. What does it lead to, though? Just spikes. Dude, this man's is a mastermind. But we're definitely making our way inwards, which is a good sign. Because I think I see where the good stuff's going to be. If you look at the way the base is organized, it's looking like that right there is the center. So we do have a chance at getting in towards the- Oh, mama, no, 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 I did not sign up for this. Did not sign up for this, god dang it! Back to the pistol, start dealing with these people. Oh my god. This is definitely one of the hardest raids we've gone on, man. Just in terms of, like, having to deal with these enemies in such tight quarters, too. At least they hurt themselves a lot on the spikes. We do have that going for us, but... Okay. Next up on the to-do list, we want to continue breaking through this. At least it's a level one wall. Should be nice and cheap. Okay, we got stuff. We got to- God dang it! Now we got to break through this stuff, too. I, it, maybe it'll have some stuff within it, you know? You, ne you never know. Shoot or shoot, add, add a little bit of iron. But also add a lot of bit of noise. This over here says it's going to require C4. At this point, I kind given the noise we're at, man, we got to shoot our shot. This guy has, he stole some valuable stuff from us. I'd like to do my best to get it back. Maybe even some more stuff on top of that. We are almost at 50 noise. The C4 is going to produce a good amount of noise. We gotta, like, just in terms of logistically, because we want to break into some chests down the line, too. We're gonna have to use this C4 soon. I think this is prime a position as possible, and those spikes are just getting to me, man. They're hitting me nonstop, but... All right, down goes the C4, and hopefully we get in to a super dope part of the base. No, no, it doesn't look like that's the case. We do have a couple more toxic abominations running our way, however, so let's take those guys out. Uh, I'd like to leave that on us. Let's use the rest of shotgun rain. All right, now that thing's broken. Now we gotta start using... The rest of our Kalashnikov. Oh my god. Is there another abomination running for us? If there is, hopefully he's running around a lot of spikes on the outside of this base here. Oh, Nelly. At least, dude, if honestly, I don't mind, dude. Even if we don't specifically do good in this raid. Honestly, if I can keep getting raids like this, dude, this is the type of raids I like. I like challenging raids. I've gotten so used to, like, straightforward raids that the game throws at us, man. I'm out of practice when it comes to the good stuff. But to be completely honest, I think this right here might be the good stuff. What do you guys think? Could we, per schnaps, be having something good in this purple chest? Eh, okay, I was overhyping it a little bit. It, it definitely could be better, but uh, it could, could be worse as well, you, you know? <laughs> um... All right, so the good news here is we can definitely break through these two more things and it shouldn't summon the big one. Dude, we're not getting good stuff out of here. Come on, game. I know we have, I have rifles I need to recover. I know you randomly toss them in random chests. Can we get at least one of those chests? I just, it, it does not look like that is gonna be the case, dude. Like, oh my goodness gracious. It looks like we didn't even get close to the heart of this guy's base and I mean, we could use a C4 and see where that takes us, but uh, we got like all of one hatchet left. I mean, we do have a couple floppy disks. There is a chance that our C4 breaks into a chest too. And we literally have like nothing good to show for this raid. Honestly, if there's ever a time to use a C4, I think this is the situation. If I'm ever questioning it, this is one of the prime situations where honestly, it, it could very well be worth it. I'll just let you make sure we're as kitted as can be. Okay, we're as kitted as can be. Let's put those pants away and what else do we want to take home with us honestly in case the big one does have to run us out i'll take some gold can't go wrong with that uh we also got this hopefully oh dude this is another reason i'm scared i don't want to get stuck in here that is a very real possibility uh we got a lot of meds at the very least our shoes are gonna break that's gonna be bad the doghouse is not near here which is also bad god dang it bobby we could try and break into this, but if from what we saw from some of the other chests, it didn't seem like it was that great. We could use a C4 and try to get even deeper. Oh, decisions, decisions. All right, guys, I, I, I do believe that I, I have decided. I think, I, I don't know, I think that we're pretty far into his base, so I genuinely think that we have a good shot at getting some good stuff from it. 
because i mean what his base pretty much ends over here he probably has a couple of like layers of walls that have nothing over here on the exterior as well so we gotta be close to the heart of his base are you telling me this dude just has no good loot at all but just has a super loaded base if that's the case that's evil man that's evil but yeah well i say we go like one more and hope for the best is that is that the game plan it is if we die I mean, so be it, man. What, what is the worst that we're losing? If we're going to use the C... I guess we could actually... Let's put... Let's at least put the turret parts away. The one valuable thing we got out of this raid so far. Dude, these spikes are lethal. Honestly, given the way he arranged these spikes, I, I kind of feel like maybe he rigged it. Maybe... Maybe the place that I went all along was never meant to have the good loot. Maybe just wanted to hurt my armor, damage me a whole ton as I run through here. You know? Because it looks like he's doing a pretty good job at that damage front. And it's definitely possible to get through here with a spike configuration, you know? I do, dude, I don't know. This is, this, is a, this is one of the most complex bases I've found. Now, I, I don't know. We just haven't been getting complex bases lately, man. We forgot the meta. But all right. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to send it, and I really hope that there's some good loot awaiting on the other side of this. No whammy. No whammy. No whammy. Why'd you put it on that wall? I want it on the other wall okay there's something here though and th this is all there again we're taking all and we're trying to get the hell out of dodge before this guy shows up okay he showed up let's just do a little bit of a ring around the rosie get juked and oh no 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 i'm the one getting juked i'm out juking myself let's make sure that we're healed we gotta get out of this base and it looks like you know what type of base this was i don't think we were ever gonna get a lot from this base because from what i the signs we were getting from the end we used a c4 to break into a one by one stone area and you know what else we saw? Just all stone walls all around it. He probably had a honeycomb going in the center of his base to protect his loot with stone. Meaning, literally, like, unless we had huge amounts of C4 and some way to continuously stall the big one. That one was not happening, but, uh, hey, I now have all the fur in the world. So if you ever need a fur merchant, go ahead and hit me up. But with that said, with that dud, that is, uh... That hurts, man. That hurts. We, we took the L on that one for sure, but I just don't know how big of a dub we could have taken in the first place because if you see... I don't know. We were getting halfway decent stuff and we had to use a C4 and it only opened up a one by one. I just... That, that raid, I think... It was rigged against us since the start. Although, there's always the chance we could have got lucky. We definitely were not going to be able to break into all of his stuff in that case. It wasn't like a huge wide open base. We've kind of gotten spoiled with occasionally getting. That one was one where he definitely had to earn it. I'm going to earn some debt to that zombie that's trying to sneak up on me. But alas, that is going to be the end of that. Best of luck to you guys and gals in that giveaway. Can't wait to your guys' thoughts on the Ravager down below. But that's going to go ahead and start doing it for me. But now, best of luck to you guys and gals. Get in the chopper, guys. Thank you for the chopper squadron best of luck breeding your pups getting the true friend perk doing your own skills leveling them up via the magic of magazines not to mention building up the attachments getting blueprints for even better attaches protecting your base going on raids hopefully taking raiding paths better than mine and or just going on overall better raids than mine defeating the bosses of the game get it past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan for a fantastic time all throughout but it's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya